this is the video for lesson 53 on my website, Order of Operations. This is a very important lesson, so make sure that you pay close attention. In math, we have rules that tell us the order in which we should do calculations. We have an acronym that helps us remember those rules. It's called PEMDAS. Let's take a look at what each of the letters in this acronym mean. The P stands for parentheses. What that means is that whenever we see parentheses in a problem, such as this one down here, we always do whatever's in parentheses first. It doesn't matter whatever else is part of the problem, we immediately jump to the parentheses and do the calculation that's inside them. Now, after we do parentheses, we'll do E for exponents. You'll learn more about exponents later, but in this lesson I'll introduce you to the very basics of how they work. Just keep in mind for now that exponents will come after parentheses. We always do parentheses first. Now, after we've done those two, assuming that we have any of those in a problem, we will then do multiplication and division left to right. Now this is important. In PEMDAS, even though M comes before D, it's a little bit of a fib. Whenever the problem comes down to nothing but multiplication and division, we just do the multiplication and division left to right. What that means is that even if the division comes first, we will still do that first. We just work left to right if the problem comes down to nothing but multiplication and division. Now the same is true for addition and subtraction. Even though A comes before S in PEMDAS, if we have a problem that's nothing but addition and subtraction, we just work left to right. That's important to remember. Let's take a look at some examples. In this example here, we have 3 plus 4 times 5. Now it's very tempting to just start with the addition since it's on the left, but we don't do that according to the order of operations, we must do our multiplication first. So what I'm going to do is do the 4 times 5, which is 20, and it's a very good idea to get into the habit of bringing down the rest of the problem so that we don't accidentally forget it. So now we have 3 plus 20, we have nothing but addition, so we can just do the addition and get 23. If we had added first and then multiplied, we would have gotten the wrong answer. Let's take a look at this problem here. 4 times 3 squared. Now, you'll learn more about this squaring in a later lesson. For now, let me just tell you that if you see something like this, a, a small little 2 next to a number, it means multiply the number times itself. Now, according to our order of operations, we must do exponents before multiplication. This little 2 is an exponent. So I have to do 3 squared. We pronounce it as 3 squared, which is 9. I've done my exponent first. I'll bring down the rest of the problem so I don't forget it. And we have 4 times 9, which is 36. And that's how we do that. Let's take a look at this next problem here. Now this is a little tricky. We actually have two sets of parentheses. We have an inner set here surrounding the 5 plus 3, and then we have an outer set, which very often you'll see as square brackets. But it's really just a type of parentheses. Now, in a case like this, we always do the innermost parentheses first and then work our way out. So, all I'm going to do is focus on the 5 plus 3. That gives me 8. Now, I'm going to copy down the rest of the problem. This is very important. Don't skip that step, even if you think you can do it in your head. And we still have our outer brackets. So, we have to focus on what's inside the parentheses, or in this case, the brackets. So, let's focus there. Now we have to take a look at everything we have. We have nothing but addition and subtraction within the brackets. So according to our procedure, we do addition and subtraction left to right. In this case, the subtraction happens to come first, but that's okay, we'll work left to right. We'll do 4 minus 1, which is 3, bring down the plus 8, and then 3 plus 8 is 11. This is how I recommend you do all of your order of operations problem, uh, problems. Do them step by step. Don't skip anything. The common error in these problems is when you try to do things in your head or when you just incorrectly copy down previous parts of a problem. Just do it carefully and step by step and you'll always get the right answer. I'm going to jump to this problem down here. The first thing I see is parentheses, so I don't look at anything else. I immediately do what's in parentheses, 2 plus 6, which is 8 and I'll copy down the rest of the problem. Divided by 4 times 3. By the way, for these examples I'm using the slash to represent division. Sometimes you'll see that. Now, in this problem, 
I look at what's left, I have nothing but division and multiplication. According to our order of operations, when we're left with nothing but multiplication and division, we work left to right. So I'll do 8 divided by 4, which is 2. Bring down the times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Now let's take a look at this problem here. There's a lot of things going on. But still, according to order of operations, first I must do what's in parentheses. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And I'll bring down everything else that I see. I know it looks like a lot, but we're going to take it step by step. Okay, we've done parentheses. According to order of operations, we must now do exponents. 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4. So I've done my exponent. Bring down everything else that I see. Okay, now we continue taking a look. We have some subtraction here, then multiplication, division, and then some addition. According to order of operations, before we look at the addition and subtraction, we have to look at multiplication and division, and we'll do it left to right. We have 12 times 2, which is 24. Bring down everything else. Okay. We have to do the division before we do anything else. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So I now have 15 minus 6 plus 4. Okay. According to order of operations, we're left with nothing but addition and subtraction, so we work left to right. 15 minus 6 is 9. That's right. Which equals 13. And that's how we do that. That was many steps, but we did it we did it step by step, one step at a time, and so we get the right answer. This is a very important lesson. Make sure that you fully understand the order of operations. We have to adhere to these rules in every single thing that we do in math. So make sure that this lesson is fully clear. You'll have